we have it uh, you know relaying so i hope i'm audible visible and you are able to hear me well all right so here is uh, you are welcome to an academy learning platform i'm dr roini avdani and you are going to be watching some genetics so we are going to some do something that is really interesting genetics most of the people haven't touched genetics much okay because it is tough and it is also a little different and uh, confusing if you don't understand the basics so we'll start with the part 1 where you are going to get introduced to genetics and there are some classification for example there is single gene mutations are there there are many other variants let's talk about one of the aspect only from the genetics today and then in the next class we'll move on to the next second third parts okay so here genetics we are going to do some introductory part so this is going to be part a all right so here is genetics for you and this is anatomy subject and uh, let me just mention this important thing this is neat pg very important you know topics we are going to discuss neat pg and uh, the topics for uh, genetics and other things haven't been done before by me and uh, i wish um, you know everyone could follow and you know keep updated with the topics that i do so please do follow me ro aqua is my username kindly follow hit a like whenever you feel that these things are worth it please do so so here it is dr roini and these are my credentials i have an md from kmc mangalore karnataka and also you can see that i have phd from savita university chennai tamil nadu and also mt and mba in hospital administration from georgia usa so it is across the world so here there i have collected wherever i have lived i have collected some degree to uh to my credit so i have also worked in usa for about 9 years in this hospital rockingham memorial hospital which has given me immense exposure outside the country okay so this is the hospital where i worked for about 9 years all right so with all this credentials let's move so if you have any questions queries you can always message me you can always catch me with the telegram channel that is let's crack neat pg and also anatomy by dr roini all right so let's start with genetics now this is genetics for you now whatever draw genetics we do first of all we should know what is genetic disorder first of all what is the disorder why it happens it is an illness it is actually an illness uh it is caused by one or more abnormalities you cannot simply say just with one single abnormality you can't say that it is a genetic disorder there should be a set of uh disorders that you can list so especially a condition that is present from the birth then you call that as genetic genes involved so it is congenital most of the time and most genetic disorders are quite very very rare and they affect only one in several million people it's not like something like a pandemic where it affects everyone so this is genetic disorder so it a quite rare thing and it affects only few people in the million lot so here it may not be heritable or it may be heritable it may be passed from your grandparents or parents from uh, you know ancestors it could be could have been passed and then it could have been you know um showing up in your generation or it could be a complete mutation of the gene later on in life so now here it is another case where it is non heritable genetic disorder so there could be genetic or it could be non heritable one so here it is the defect may be caused by new mutations or changes to the dna sequence now defect will only be heritable if the genetic disorder occurs in the germ line okay so here you have to remember it could be heritable or non heritable that is one thing to remember all right so here if it is heritable it could be completely because of your ancestors 
if it is non heritable obviously it has to be a mutated gene so keep these two things in your mind it could be completely mutated so here we have any questions or queries so far okay next one what is the classification we can do in this um, particular thing so here we have a single gene disorder that is one type of classification we have a list of things we can list maple um, syrup urea disorder we can dis uh, sickle cell anemia we can dis, um, discuss under this and we can also discuss various other things like um, we have a list big list we'll go through one by one so the next one is chromosomal genetic disorder chromosomal genetic disorder is the second type of classification multifactorial genetic disorder so we can't take up everything today because i want to do it in little detail so we will take up just the first one single gene disorder okay so this is going to be in the part a and uh, subsequently we'll also do the part b and part c where we are going to discuss the other things all right so move on single gene disorder so in this one what is this here these disorders they involve mutation in the dna sequence you know that there is a sequence of uh, you know codons and single genes of single genes it is present as a result the protein the protein in the gene codes for this either it could be altered or it could be missing the protein which codes for this particular gene could be either altered or it could be completely missing so now here there are about 4000 and above human diseases that can be caused by single gene disorder let's see what are the some examples we can take up today not everything only few we can take up so there is um cystic fibrosis that is something we can take up galactosemia huntington disease all right maple syrup urine disease and then phenyl ketonuria and severe combined immunodeficiency sickle cell anemia and also smith lamell optis syndrome so out of this we can take up few things today so here we have the first one cystic fibrosis okay what is cystic fibrosis so the name itself indicates that cystic fibrosis you know has got something to do with the uh with the fiber or it could be the connective tissue disorder the name itself indicates that so it is a genetic disorder that affects the respiratory and digestive system so remember it affects the respiratory and digestive systems so the ones that has something like a lumen so there could be blockage in the lumen right so here people with cystic fibrosis they inherit actually so it is a inheritable one so it is heritable one they inherit a defective gene from their ancestors the chromosome number 7 it is called the chromosome number 7 so remember cystic fibrosis you have to relate with the chromosome number 7 so here it is called cftr cftr cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator cftr okay the short form of that the protein produced by this particular gene normally helps with what it helps with the salts to move in and out of the cells okay so this is got the function of moving out of the sodium chloride in and out of the cell so you know that the cells they have a mechanism where the potassium and sodium move in and out of the potassium and sodium move in and out of the cell so sodium chloride nacl so here the defect is with the movement of the sodium chloride okay so let's see what happens this particular protein what does that do so if the protein doesn't work correctly obviously the movement of this nacl is blocked so that results in what it results in very thick mucus production so the mucus will become very very thick and that will actually block the lumen 
So the cells most seriously affected by this are the ones which are in the respiratory system. More than the digestive system, the ones which are present in the lungs are the ones which are affected because you don't want the air to be blocked at one point. You want continuous circulation of the air through the respiratory system. So here, the lung cells are the ones which could have this effect. So this mucus blocks or clogs, they block the airway in the lungs and they increase the risk of infection. So when the mucus is sitting in one place for a long time, it has a tendency to, you know, get infected by the bacteria. So that's what happens in the lungs. So this thick mucus in the digestive system, what does it do? It actually, you know, blocks all the ducts. So in the parotid duct, in the pancreas, in the parotids, in the intestines, so where the mucus is present, wherever the mucus is present, they all become very, very thick in nature. So that results in hampering of the movement, easy movement of the um, uh, things that is produced by, for example, in pancreas, whatever is produced cannot move out through the ducts. In parotids also, it cannot move, move out. In intestine also, the structures cannot move because of the thick mucus plug. So now here next one. So that is the first one. So what is the defect? We can go back and see the defect is in sodium pump. Okay, so this is defective. What is the uh, name of the gene chromosome number 7? So remember this. Next one. Next one is galactosemia. So this is the one galactosemia. Here the chromosome number is 9. So how would you remember? Remember glossopharyngeal is 9, right? Glossopharyngeal nerve is 9. You remember? The 9 you remember for this G, okay? So galactosemia is a rare disorder here. This is also very rare. Single gene mutations are very, very rare actually. So this is a rare disorder that affects the body's ability to break down the sugar called the galactose. So here the galactose break down. So breakdown of this doesn't happen easily. Okay, it's not happening. So here the body breaks down lactose into galactose and glucose and uses these sugars for energy. We know that. So what happens? Lactose is broken down into galactose plus sugar. Or you can also call that as glucose. So here this is what gives us energy. So here what happens in case of galactosemia? Semia is a condition. So in this condition what happens? There is a missing enzyme. That enzyme name is known as GALT. -GALT and that helps further breakdown of this galactose. And defect in this further breakdown of galactose is what is going to cause. Defect. So defect in this galactose mechanism uh, or metabolism can cause toxic chemicals to build up in the cells of the body. So here, this particular enzyme that is GALT breaks down this galactose. Okay, it further breaks down. GALT further breaks this down. But there is a defect in this particular uh, particular enzyme GALT. So it is a defect in GALT enzyme. So that results in the buildup of toxic chemicals and that's what results in cell death. So this is what happens in case of galactosemia. So that is one thing. Next one we have to look at the third one that is Severe Combined Immunodeficiency, SCID, Severe Combined Immunodeficiency. Here you have to remember the chromosome, X chromosome is involved here. It's a group of very rare and of very fatal inherited disorder and it is related to immune system. So that's why the name immunodeficiency, it is related to immune system. And people with this SCID, they have defect in their immune system itself. They are very, very vulnerable to any infection. So they are vulnerable. Deadly vulnerable. Okay. So now that we have pandemic, probably people with this would have suffered the most. So this is SCID. And the most common form of this is 
because of mutation in the SCID gene that is present on the chromosome number, chromosome X chromosome. Okay, this is a sex linked one. So this is present on the X chromosome. SCID is present in the X chromosome. So you have to remember it is X linked inheritance. Okay, so here this gene actually encodes a protein that is used to construct a receptor called interleukin receptors. So, okay, this is something to do with the immune system. Interleukins, you know, what is interleukins? They are uh, the ones which are involved in the immune, immune response. These receptors reside inside the plasma membrane of the immune cells. Now, what happens? Their job is to allow two types of immune cells. That is, one is T cell and B cells to communicate with each other. When that is not happening, when the gene is mutated, the communication is miscommunicated. Instead of communication, there is a miscommunication or absence of communication and that is going to result in false immune system or decreased immune response. So this is the communication between T and the B cell is defective. Okay, this is what happens. So, what is that one that does? The receptors are the ones which are defective here. The receptors. What is the name of the receptor? Interleukin 2 receptor. This is the one which is defective. So, remember that. Okay. Defective. This is defective. All right. Next one. Is there any question from anyone who has not understood or have uh, trouble understanding this particular topic? This is very important uh, topic and also not discussed much because many people, they want to know about genetics, but they don't want to understand the basics. That is very wrong because you have to understand the basics. Only then you can go for the, you know, applied aspects or study of these genetics. You have to understand it from the scratch. So now here, as a result, what happens to these immune cells? They cannot communicate with one another and it is easy for the invaders to attack the body. So there is not enough T and B cells that are produced to fight off the infection because of non-communication and the body's immune system and defense mechanism is completely faulty. So they are the more vulnerable clot. These are the more vulnerable people. So this is about the SCID. Okay, some infections, even including the normal infections like pneumonia, which is, you know, people can get better with this. Meningitis, brain infection, sepsis. These are the ones which will completely knock them down and brings out uh, death in them. Next one is sickle cell disease. Okay, sickle cell. Here the name itself tells you. There is a disorder of some cell. What cells are these? These are the blood cells, which are the RBCs. RBCs. Okay, here the protein hemoglobin. Hemoglobin. We know that hemoglobin transports oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body to all the other cells, right? So normally what happens, the RBCs are round, flexible and they are disc shaped. RBCs are disc shaped. They are round and disc shaped. But here what happens because of them, they are flexible also. They can travel freely through the narrow blood vessels as well because they are highly flexible. So that is also one thing I am going to add. They are flexible. So but in this case, because of their shape, that is, Sickle cell shape. Hemoglobin molecule actually has two parts. You know that it has an alpha part and a beta part. Alpha and a beta part. Now, patients with sickle cell, the patients who are sickle cell disease, they have a mutation of the gene uh, in the chromosome number 11. 
So here it is a chromosome number 11. Okay, we talked about various chromosomes. We talked about chromosome number 8 we talked about. We talked about chromosome number 9. Then we talked about the gene in the X chromosome. And now we are talking about chromosome number 11. Okay, so this one codes actually for the beta subunit. So this is what is the of the hemoglobin. So this one particularly is the one which is defective. So now when it is not coding properly, so here when the coding is not happening properly, then this beta subunit becomes very defective. And that results in all the cells which are not having a proper, not having a proper shape. And that results in sickle shell uh, shape. Instead of being a disc shape and rounded shape, flexible, concave in nature, it is like uh, there is a small um, uh, chocolate. I have uh, always showed my students this that is called Alpenliebe. Have you heard of this Alpenliebe? The RBCs look exactly like that. Not the size, I'm talking about the shape. They are concave in shape, they are disc shape. So next one here we have the world's rarest disease. What is this? It's a genetic disease. Look at the you know, picture. You can see there is a fibro dysplasia ossificans. So look at the bones, the cartilage, connective tissue, all that is affected. It's also called stone man syndrome. Okay, stone man syndrome. It is very extremely rare genetic disease. It causes all the soft tissues in your body to turn into a bone. So soft tissue like the connective tissue, the muscles, everything would turn into the bony structure which is hard. So that's why the name stone man. So that definitely brings down the flexibility. There is no flexibility at all. The person will not be flexible at all. All right. So next, here we have another one that is Huntington's disease. Okay. Huntington disease has got something to do with the basal ganglia. Basal ganglia, um, there is chorea, that is disorder. Let me just change the color of the pen because on white it is not going to show. So here the basal ganglia disorder this is. So here you can see the chromosome number 4 is affected with the Huntington protein. So here you can see neuropsychiatric and also there is Movement disorder. So, movement disorder is completely because of basal ganglia. The person looks as if he's like, you know, has having a wailing um, uh, gait or movement and he's not able to balance and he's lost his equilibrium. It may also mimic the Parkinson's disease and it may also mimic those uh, with the cerebellum disorders. All that it could be mistaken for all this. This is Huntington's disease with the basal ganglia defect, okay? So here, the autoimmune basal ganglia, it is autoimmune disorder actually, which affects the basal ganglia itself. So basal ganglia defect can always interfere with the muscle movements, muscle and the joint movements. So that is what controlled by the basal ganglia so you can see this one is completely, you know, as the symptoms of chorea. So this is chorea gravitarum that is uh, uh, recurrence during pregnancy also can happen. So this may start as early as the, uh, you know, person is a, a small kid, childhood or adolescence. It may start and it may go on till the death. So it can always advance in its stages. Next one is the maple syrup urine disease. Have you heard of this maple syrup urine disease? Normally, what is the urine color? It is straw color, right? It is straw color. The urine is straw color. But in this case, have you seen the maple syrup? It is dark in color, dark brown, almost uh, you know, dark 
brownish in color. So this is what happens. This is because of the defect in the branched, it cannot break down the branched amino acids. We know that amino acids has to be broken down and when it doesn't happen, this is what happens to the urine color. It is normally what happens to the protein that we eat. It is broken down into amino acids. The proteins are broken down into amino acids. So whenever there is a complex protein, whenever there is a branched protein or complex protein that simply remains as is and it is not broken down at all and that results in no sufficient energy that is provided to the cells and the growth is also affected and there could also be a lot of health problems in such people. Okay, normally in the normal person will have uh, proteins needed for the muscle buildup, for all the day-to-day -day activities, we need a lot of protein. When the amino acids are uh, completely not, not at all available for the building of the energy and growth, then it definitely results in a lot of health problems. Okay, so let's see here. The color is straw color, normal urine. And in case of the maple syrup urine disorder, it would be dark brown in color. All right. So this is about the some of the important things in part A, that is the single gene mutations. Okay. So single gene defects we discussed today. Tomorrow we are going to discuss some more defects of the genes. And this is genetics part A for you. And uh, you want to know more about this, you can definitely, you know, Look up the Let's Crack Neat PG Telegram channel that we have and you can also look at the anatomy by Dr. Roini and we can discuss more if you have any questions or you want to share any particular pictures of someone whom you know with this, this particular disorder, you can definitely do so. I would be including those pictures in my classes. Okay, it could be more interactive. You can definitely share your knowledge, gain knowledge and also pass on the knowledge to your friends. So all that can happen on an academic platform. So here are some of the dedications from the students who have been greatly benefited. And this is the profile. This is how it looks like. We have more than 500, 600 followers. And thanks to all those people who have definitely made things a um, lot more, you know, um, amazing and uh, the environment is so nice when you have a lot of people following and we are interacting with each other. And this is Iconic and Plus subscriptions. With Iconic, you can get Unacademy plus um, the Prep Ladder, both. You can access both of them. With Plus, you can access the Unacademy educators. And these are all structured courses. You have unlimited access actually. Once you have the subscription, you have unlimited access. You have a good study planner done. Study materials are provided. You have even the hard copy provided if you go for 12 month subscription. You have test analysis, you have personal guidance and everything is done. So this is going to be really interesting. You, you have the subscription. So this is the special class Wednesdays. From my side, all the Wednesdays are going to be really special with morning to evening classes. They're going to be small topics, but it is going to be really worth it because this is the topics that you least expected, but you wanted to learn. So please join all my Wednesday classes. It starts as early as 7.30 a.m. Look forward. But how do you look forward? You need an app that is the learner's app. So download this learner's app from an academy okay an academy learners app once you download you enter the meet pg section where you can go for all those competitive courses and then in the neat pg section you can definitely go for free classes so once you go for that you can use this code r o h i n i 10. So, okay, use this code to unlock and uh, 
get a notification about the classes. So once the class starts, you'll start getting notifications and you'll never miss a class because you will be notified prior to the class. So these are the features of special classes. Definitely you will get prior notification. You can also get the PDF notes. You can watch it anytime because it is always there stored in your phone. And it is just like using a WhatsApp. It is uh, an app. So it is stored in the app itself. It is not going to take up the space in your phone. Remember that. So it is an interactive live class. And also we can use the polls for the learners. To know more, please attend the class on Wednesdays. And these are some of the steps to subscription. So there are various steps you can follow to subscribe. And you can also go for the last step where you are going to choose how many months. So with minimum six months, you also have the option of EMI. And the higher the number of months, you definitely have more privileges. And this is how you can install the app from Google Play or App Store. Please look at the icon that is like a you know, small, um, a beautiful blue and green no icon. So go with the icon. Look out for the icon. It is an academy learning app. So this is focus FMG batch and target next 2022 batch. All this is running parallelly. And to announce that we are very proud of our star learners. We have so many learners who have really achieved very nice numbers on their scores. And this is a bug's bounty where you are given an opportunity to you know, report anything that is inappropriate in this video. And uh, you are uh, always uh, expected and asked to subscribe, like and share because always it is nice to spread the good word, right? So please subscribe, like and also share with your friends and also download the PDF whenever you have attended any special class because that is for you to take it and use the referral code ROHINI10. There is absolutely no space in between. You can use this for all the free classes you can unlock and also you can go with the 10% discount when you go for the plus or um, iconic classes. So now here is a plus subscription. And here, iconic subscription, where you have both the Unacademy as well as prep ladder access. And you can also see the badges have started on Dean. Similarly, many badges will be happening. You can definitely join using the subscription. This is neat PG one month package where you can go with the you know fast track high yield revisions, then MCQs, and many, many more. So these are all happened up to the 9th of September. Similar packages will be done and uh, you are not left alone during your exam time. So this is how the pattern of even one month package you can get. So this is 25,000 high yield clinical questions you can access with the QBank practice sessions. And uh, this is definitely going to be worth it because where can you go searching for 25,000 questions? Everything under an academy, you can get it. So boost your medical PG preparation with 24 plus 4 you know, free classes and 12 plus 2. These are the number of months actually. So you will get 2 months free. So many classes, so many things you can unlock. And this is the EMI option. You can go with this and use the code always R-O-H-I-N-I-10. Okay. No space in between. Use the code for all the free classes and also for the subscriptions. So with all this, I would like to thank all those who have been you know, watching my videos and appreciating this. So to know more, you can follow me at this username. I'm Dr. Roini. And signing off for this class. And see you again at 9 p.m. with more of radiology topic. So I have radiology coming up. So join me at this time, 9 p.m.